We will now find the equation of the tangent line to this uh, given equation that is uh, y equals uh, cos hyperbolic x plus uh, e power 3x at uh, x equal to 0. So basically we need uh, two things to determine the equation of uh, tangent line that is uh, we need a point as well as the slope of the tangent line. So first uh, let's determine the point. For this, uh, I'm going to rewrite this uh, cos hyperbolic function using this uh, formula or we can rewrite this in terms of the exponential form. So let me rewrite that first. So we have y equal in place of cos hyperbolic x. I'm going to replace uh, it as uh, e power x plus uh, e power negative x over 2 and we then have uh, e raised to the power of 3x. And here we are going to substitute uh, x equal to 0 so that we can get the point. So when you replace uh, x equal to 0 here, we get a value of y equals e raised to the power of 0 plus uh, e raised to the power of negative 0 divided by 2 plus uh, e raised to the power of 3 times of 0 is 0. So let's uh, evaluate this. Notice that uh, e power 0 is 1. So therefore this equals 1 plus an e raised to the power of negative 0 in uh, using the uh, exponent clause. We can rewrite this as e raised to the power of 0. In fact, uh, e raised to the power of 0 is 1. So 1 by 1 is 1. So basically e raised to the power of negative 0 is also 1 divided by 2 and then plus e raised to the power of 0 is 1. So this simplifies to 1 plus 1 here is 2 and 2 divided by 2 is 1. So we have 1 plus 1 equals 2. So therefore we write the point as at x equal to 0, the y is 2. So therefore this is the point. We have determined this point. We will now determine the slope of this uh, tangent line equation at x equal to 0. So for that, uh, I'm going to find the derivative of this equation. So derivative of y, we can write down this as uh, dy over dx. And uh, derivative of cos hyperbolic function is sine hyperbolic function. So I write down this as sine hyperbolic x plus uh, derivative of e raised to the power of 3x is uh, e raised to the power of 3x. And when we apply the chain rule, we have to find the derivative of uh, 3x that is the derivative of 3x is 3 so I put this as 3 here so let's simplify this so we have dy by dx equals uh, I'm now going to replace the sine hyperbolic x with the exponential form so we will put this as e power x minus of e power negative x divided by 2 uh, plus 3e raised to the power of 3x so basically this is the derivative expression uh, however, we have to find the uh, slope at the point x equal to 0. So we have to find the derivative at x equal to 0, which means uh, we have to replace all x as 0. So therefore, this becomes e raised to the power of 0 minus e raised to the power of negative 0 over 2 plus uh, 3 times of uh, e raised to the power of 3 times of 0 is 0. So let's evaluate this e power 0 is 1 and e power negative 0 is also 1 divided by 2 plus uh, 3 times of e power 0 is 1 so this becomes 3 so this quantity is 0 0 over 2 is 0 so we can just uh, cancel this so finally we have uh, the slope equals 3 so this is the slope of the tangent line at x equal to 0 so now we have determined both the point and the slope which is required to find the equation of a tangent line. So we are going to use the point uh, slope form of uh, equation of a straight line that is uh, y minus y1 equals uh, m into multiplied with x minus x1 where m is the slope of the line. So this basically is our m that is the slope of the tangent line and this is the point that is uh, x1 y1 so let's uh, use the x1 y1 and uh, replace it over here so therefore we will get the equation of the tangent line as y minus y1 is uh, 2 and uh, i replace the slope as 3 times of uh, x minus x1 is 0
So this implies y minus 2 equals 3 times of uh, x which is uh, 3x and uh, this is equivalent to we add a 2 on both sides so we get y equals uh, 3x plus 2 this is the equation of the tangent line to the given equation y so this means uh, option d is correct